Welcome to episode 12 of our New York Panama cruise travel series. This is our final episode where we'll be calling to Cabo, Mexico, a resort city. After leaving Cabo, we sail for two days and arrive at Los Angeles and take an Air New Zealand flight back to Auckland. So come along with us on our last leg of our adventure. After a night sailing where you pulled into Cabo San Lucas, or Cabo for short at about 9am. It was a beautiful warm sunny day. Cabo has a population of about 200,000 and is known for its beaches, water based activities and nightlife. We moored about one kilometre from the shore which translated to two and a half kilometres from the dock. Tender boats would take us to the wharf. From the vantage point of our ship we had fabulous views of Cabo including the Hill of the Z, which is a local lookout, the various beautiful beaches, and the Rio Palace Hotel at $850 a night. Excellent fine, calm, hot weather meant that the tendering process to shore was no disadvantage. On this occasion, the tender process was really efficient because both local and ship's boats were used. On arriving at the marina, we were greeted by the brown pelican, or Pelicanus occidentalis, a saltwater coastal bird. In the foreground is a 100 foot twin masted brig wooden pirate sailing ship, which is available for taking 80 passengers for a pirate experience. After disembarking and reading all the do's and don'ts, we felt the Cabo welcome, then entered the main marina shopping complex and passed by the Cabo Wabo nightclub. We walked past a Sally Lightfoot crab having breakfast on the rocks. There are a ton of boat operators at the marina. There are boats everywhere and on the spur of the moment we decided to take a boat out to the Arch of Cabo and Lover's Beach. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> 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 oh, you say that. <laughs> we have to be back to work. <laughs> the boating company we chose charged about $15 for the trip and they left when they had enough passengers. It turned out that the other passengers were actually crew members of our ship. The scenery as we left the marina was absolutely stunning. Of all the ports we visited on this cruise, Cabo was certainly the most beautiful. There are brown pelicans everywhere. Are you videoing it? I am. Incredible. We got a Mexican chicken on the road. Yeah, see that. And the colours of the water were just so deep and intense. Looking at? He's put he put some bread in the water and all the fish. Oh, oh wow. Wow, look at that. I don't think we're supposed to eat bread. No. It's not really good for them. The problem for a little boat arises when a bigger boat comes along and creates a huge wake. It adds to the excitement of the ride. It wasn't long before we arrived at Lovers Beach, where we dropped off our cruise ship staff. Perhaps they were lovers, who knows. After Lovers Beach, we continued up to Cabo Arch, looking at all the water activity and got good views of our cruise ship Royal Caribbean's vision of the seas. 
Suddenly, Susan spotted a recreational fishing boat with a sea lion on the back. Cabo is one of the top fishing destinations in the world. It's also home to world-class striped marlin, tuna and mahi fishing. Also living there are hundreds of fat sea lions who chase fishing boats, waiting for the fisher people to toss them handouts after returning to base. Events like this happen all the time here. Coincidentally, while I was making this episode, my son Simon sent me this video clip taken in Cabo where both the brown pelican and the sea lion get a slice of the action. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of our boat was more sea lion action. But just how a 300 kilogram sea lion was able to climb onto the sheer cliff face just mystified us. And there was more action on the sea that we saw, and that was paragliding. As we continued up to Cabo Arch, the swirls got larger, which made the ride even more exciting. Here. Man. I'm stabilizing the camera but we're really rocking around. He shows it. Wow. I don't need no um yeah, it's too rocky. At Cabo Arch it was time for our photo shoot, against all impossible odds as we swayed around in the boat. We continued around the peninsula to the other side of Lover's Beach, where the waters were a bit calmer. Wow, this is just so beautiful. Yeah. Specifically, we're in the Pacific Ocean now. I don't think you specified that. No, no, that's right. I need to be more Pacific. Nothing but ocean. Pacific, specific ocean. Those buildings. The Pacific Ocean side of the peninsula was just as spectacular and beautiful and we spent a few moments there before returning to the marina. Cabo is one of the top five tourist destinations in Mexico and it's easy to see why. It's warm all year round with an average sea temperature between 22 and 29 degrees Celsius, perfect for water activities. On entering the marina, we were once again greeted by a stack of brown pelicans, probably hoping for a feed from us. With help from the captain's son, we successfully docked, then looked around the marina at the shops and restaurants, after which we made our moves to return to the ship. We trust you enjoyed following along with us in our brief encounter with Carbo. What a great time we had. The experience gave us lasting memories of this incredible place.
days later, and after many table tennis games on my part, we arrived in Los Angeles, took a shuttle to the Holiday Inn where we hired a day room, had a shower, and that night boarded our Air New Zealand flight back to Auckland, New Zealand. After 32 fun days together, we went back to our respective lives. Thank you.